Paige, we'll start with you in the back. I think uh, the confidence-wise, just coming in practice, you know, just how we um, rep it during the week. Uh, but you know, just when you when, when you get wide open, you know, it's the it's the best feeling you want, just as a receiver, because I know Hooks looking that way. Um, and Kentucky, you know, they had some bust in their defense, um, but uh, just it just really the reps in practice that you know makes you confident when you get in the game. Joe, a lot of people outside of the building are trying to figure out how you're getting so wide open. Yeah, we you know we do everything off matchups. Um, just to see their tendencies. Um, we 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 game plan that for you know during the week. You know, see, you know what safeties are what. Um, you know how they play. Are they flat footed? Do they get out of their breaks? Um, what coverage? You know, are they mainly in? Um, but with Kentucky, you know, just they they had a little. You know, they had some bust that you know messed them up, and I'm glad that we took advantage of it. Now, what's, what's the feeling when you identify something on film and know yeah. that it's going to work? What's the uh, I mean, <clears throat> as far as the feeling wise. Um, I mean, if I, you saying like as far as do we see like when they do a bust and like if you see something that you can take advantage of on film going into the game, is there like an overjoyed feeling? Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, with Hook, uh, we stay in the film on Mondays and just look and see you know what we can do on them. And when we see a matchup that we know we can you know exploit, um, we're definitely happy in that uh, in the film room for sure. I'll say where everybody was missing, um, but we're a hardworking team. Um, and not only that, we don't let the outside outside noise, um, you know, correlate to what we do in the building. That's one thing Coach Hype preaches, uh, just in our for our team and in the team meetings. You know, we don't look outside noise, and we know we, we know what team we have. I think we finally know our you know our identity um, as far as who we are, um, and that's one of the biggest things that I felt this year that we changed from last year. Um, just knowing who we are, and you can see the confidence in you know all the guys, and I think we know where we want to go and wh where we're headed. Little Wes, Reese, and then Mike. A couple quick things, Jalen. I know that, that y'all are able to monitor your speed and everything with those pads that you wear, the GPS ones. Mm -hmm. You got faster than you were last year. I feel I feel like I did. Um, I think I, you know, I definitely got stronger from last year, and I think that's why I feel like I got faster <laughs> on the field. Um, and even with the weight that I put on, you know, sometimes when I go out there, you know, I feel weightless, you know, when I run sometimes. And um, it just goes how we prepare. You know, we don't, they, you know, Coach Hype does a good job of not putting too much on our legs in practice and, you know, just making sure we're fresh when we, you know, go for Saturdays and uh, just being ready for the game. Also, have there been any defenses y'all played this season that, I know everybody has wrinkles that they use every week, but has there been one game more than the others this season where, where the defense did a lot of stuff y'all weren't expecting? Well, sometimes, um, you know, just going against us, you know, it's, there's a lot of things that we we think we're we're gonna, you know we're going to see on Saturday. Um, for example, uh, LSU, uh, you know, we thought there would be a drop eight team, you know, when we played them, and they came out and man and just want to man everything up, and um, you know, it, when it's just a lot. Uh, Bama did the same thing, you know, we we know they'll come out and mitts, um, cover four, and, um, and sometimes they came out and man, you know, but. I think how we prepare during the week, you know, we, you know, we prepare with all the coverages that we think we'll see. And um, even when we do get surprised and if they do change it up on us, we come back to the sideline and we adjust. You know, that's one of the biggest things that we have done this year that was way better than last year. Well, there's a lot of, a lot of time that um for example Alabama when we play them <clears throat> I think we're at the twenty yard line going in um and um we had 
play where I was in the seam. Uh, he threw it real quick. Uh, th those are one of those plays where, you know, I was really just – it was supposed to hit me a little later. Um, and, you know, when I got my eyes around, it was right there, right there on the money. Um, but, yeah, definitely the quarterback, you know, what Hook has done this year as far as how fast he's getting the ball out, you know, with pressures and just with everything, it's just been amazing. It's easier for us as receivers, for sure. Yeah, you know, definitely similarities. Um, you know, obviously Georgia's going to have athletes. Uh, Alabama has athletes. But one thing for me that stands out with Georgia is just, you know, how physical they are. Uh, they're a big physical team, physical defense. Um, they like to put hands on. Um, and that's something we have to prepare for, something that we have to be ready for for Saturdays, Patrick, for this Saturday. Time for a few more. We'll go Patrick, and we'll go Brent, and then we'll go to Eric, and then they should finish off. Jalen, now that Cedric is back with you and Drew, if you were a defensive coordinator, how would you Yeah, uh, like I, I mean, I think to stop, you, you might have to pick one, you know, who do you want to stop, you know, uh, but it's good to have set back in that room. Um, you know, we, we really enjoyed the back. Um, and not only that, I think you all can see it, you know, when he caught the first pass against Kentucky, man, he was decided. Um, and I'm happy for him, you know, especially how he recovered from his injury and just to have him back in that room, just being that leader in that room, it, it, it just, we're ready for Saturday, you know, that's all I got to say. You know, sometimes, you know, for my um, for my phone, I have all my notifications off as far as with social media. Um, but, you know, for me, it just it makes me reflect back to my freshman year. You know, um, are you going to get satisfied? Are you going to get content and just not do anything for the rest of the season? Or, you know, are you, are you going to grind and do do what you do again? Um, so, you know, what I do, I just keep it I, I keep it away. You know, I don't even look at Twitter. You know, I'll go and glance at it, you know, for a little bit. But... Um, you know, I try to stay off of social media, especially for this week. Um, you know, this is a big opportunity for us, and we're, you know, for us, we're trying to take that next step in, in our team and um, go where we want to go. Eric. Caleb, while you guys mentioned preparing the right way, and I'm not saying that's not always been a priority because I'm sure it hasn't been, but when did you, when did you guys figure out that the way you're preparing, the way you're practicing, that is the right way? Was it when the wind started coming up? Yeah, de yeah definitely when the wind started coming up. Um, but just for how we prepare, uh, I think really just after Pitt, when we played Pitt, um, just the routine. Uh, we try to keep the same routine every week. Doesn't matter what team we're playing. Doesn't matter what team. Uh, doesn't matter, you know, who they are. Um, we try to keep the same routine every week. And um, so, you know, everything has been working so far. So, you know, obviously for me personally, I want to keep the same routine I have, you know, I've done. For the same routine I have to do, you know, for games. Just him being a leader, um, you know, on the field and just what he does off the field, um, you know, just it's just how he leads his team. I think that's one of the biggest things that really big inspirations for me that I seen from him. Um, and you know, he gets everybody juiced up, you know, everybody for practice. Um, and then when he goes out there, I mean, you know, aside from you know, I think consistent he is, I mean, the boost is in every game and um, and confident. You know, when you have a confident quarterback you can go as far as you want to go um and we're just following his path you know and i'm you know I'm blessed just to be a part of you know just to be a part of what he's done and just to be from him um just opportunity for me um I think he does what he does and he takes it as farther for the next level um, where he goes and you know i'm proud of him for sure thank you i appreciate y'all thank you